So a few weeks back, I shared an acorn squash 101, and then a bunch of you guys were asking me for another acorn squash recipe. So today I am sharing with you a clean and delicious, sweet and savory stuffed acorn squash. So the first thing I do is prepare my acorn squash. I just trim off the ends, slice it in half, scoop out the seeds, and then I put it face down on a rimmed baking sheet that I've coated with a little bit of coconut oil. Now this whole thing goes into a 350 degree oven for 25 minutes or until it's roasted and cooked through. And if anybody needs a refresher on acorn squash, make sure to check out my acorn squash 101 because that is where I cover all the basics. So while the squash is cooking, we are gonna work on the stuffing, which is extremely easy. It's all done on the stove top. And really all it is is some lean ground beef with some veggies and spices. So I've got a nice big nonstick saute pan that I'm heating up over a medium heat. And to that, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of coconut oil. Once that oil is melted, I'm adding one small chopped up onion and a pinch of salt. Now the salt just helps to pull the liquid out of the onion, which helps it cook up a little bit faster. Once those onions begin to look translucent, you're gonna add in two cloves of chopped garlic, one cup of chopped up celery, and then one cup of chopped up carrots. Toss that all together, and then I'll season it with a tablespoon of poultry seasoning, and then just one teaspoon of ground cumin. Now, poultry seasoning is a great seasoning mix for a beginner cook because you get sage, you get thyme, you get a little bit of celery, even a little bit of cayenne, all in one little spice jar. So you don't need to run out and buy every spice under the sun. You get it all in that one jar. And the cumin just adds a nice, warm, smoky flavor that they complement each other really well. Then I'm just gonna toss this all together and let the veggies go for about five minutes or so. I just wanna get that raw, crunchy edge off of them. Once they have arrived, I'm just gonna push it all to the side of the pan and then add one pound of lean ground beef into the pan. We do not need to be dirty in more dishes. You just make it work in one pan. Season the beef with a little bit of salt, a little bit of black pepper, and then use your spatula or your wooden spoon to just break it up. You're gonna keep on breaking the meat up until it's all crumbled and it's starting to brown. Now guys, you don't have to use beef for this recipe. You could do any ground meat you want. You could do ground chicken, you could do turkey, you could do ground bison, which is a great lean meat option. And if you wanted to keep it vegetarian, you could skip the meat altogether, add a few cups of cooked quinoa, maybe a can of white beans, and then do it that way. Remember, all these recipes are just blueprints. You want to take them and make them work for you. Once you see your meat has browned up, just like this, then you are going to combine the meat and the veggies, just get it all mixed together. And then we're gonna finish this with a cup of crushed tomatoes. Really all this is doing is gonna kind of bring it all together, it binds it, and a quarter cup of sweet tart cherries that are dry. So chop them up nice and fine and then add that to the mix. The cherries are the perfect complement to the squash and the meat and all those warm spices. It's like a little sweet surprise. Then I'll let that simmer for five, 10 minutes, and then we're gonna shut off the heat, take this filling, and put it into our squash. Now, depending on how big the cavity of each squash is, this filling will fill between four and six halves. For my family, we usually do four, and then if there's leftover filling, we just enjoy it on the side. Sprinkle a little fresh parsley over the top, and it is ready to go. Mmm, 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 mmm. The tender, nutty squash with the savory beef and then those bright, tart cherries. Mm. It just screams autumn. You guys have got to try this one. And when you do, do me a favor, snap a picture and then tag me on Instagram or on Facebook with the hashtag OMGCND so I can see what type of deliciousness you are making in your very own kitchen. And don't forget, if you want to print this or any of my recipes, you can do that at cleananddelicious.com. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Danny Spees, and I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. Mmm. That from the top. <laughs>